Okay, we are up and running. We're live. And uh, I want to welcome everybody uh, to tonight's Wilders game. I am your... Uh, I'm a little low in my chair. <laughs> Need to tip my camera down a little bit. All right, that's a little bit better. So it's the Wilders game, and we are... Uh, going to um quick do our clacker and our five seconds of silence so i can do my audio later on here we go okay that's good and uh let's introduce everybody else just for anybody who happens to be a first time viewer when we're doing these videos later on on youtube and stuff like that most of the people hanging with on hanging with us on stream know who we are so uh we're just gonna go around and uh, say hi to first on my left is raven hi i'm glenn the valley i play raven alexium and i'll be playing your wizard tonight next and oh hi i'm josephine smith resident badass meet thing one and thing two pew pew Hi, my name is Joseph. No, I'm not Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> Having an identity crisis. Wait, I forgot to say my name is Amanda before saying Josephine Smith. So the, we're okay being mixed up. Um, <laughs> who are you? <laughs> Hi, my name is Janice Wildson. So I play the part of Lavinia Rose, who is part fortune teller part healer, and part destroyer of undead. I'm Rob Woodford. I play Percival Redza. And I am a badass ranger who has recently become a weird tiger. And, you know, not to be messed with as a normal badass ranger, not to be messed at more as the weird tiger. <laughs> who also has an appetite for pizza. Yes. Yum pizza. Munch, munch, munch. Talk, munch, talk, munch. talk. Munch, munch. Hello, my name is Ian Little, and I am playing Thaddeus Poindexter, a frontier physician. Frontier physician. That's that right. That was very nice. A sneaky con man type. <laughs> okay. Uh, let us Watch and pick, a lot. pick up where we left off. Last week, you, uh, you've been in an area. You've been trying to actually make contact with the Fae, right? You've traveled to an area in the middle of the forest in our map, which I should get our our map up for anybody that hasn't seen it. You can see it on our website, by the way, wildermage.com. We have a little map section there now. So anybody that wants to look, it's easy to find out where the Feywood is. And um, that'll help you with that. You travel to a portal where you thought... Uh, you would try and make contact with the Fae. And as you came through, most of the forest surrounding that portal was on fire. And uh, you heard a call of help. That's as, you know, that's as close. To, oh, actually, right now it's actually zoomed on my on my desktop, not on the game computer. It just looks so good. It's like it's Somebody try the adventure. Try the uh, game map. You set it up. I've got it on. This is how we're. So on game map right now. And that, there we go. And that screen. So. Okay. So, uh, as you went through, you heard a call from help, and you ended up going and finding a little pixie that was chained, staked out as a trap that you fell into, and you had to fight your way out of. And since then, you've fought a big undead mammoth. And in trying to leave the area, you run smack dab into these fellows. Okay, I've got them on the adventure screen now, and you can see who we're talking about. As Pyro would say, the dope elves. Right. <laughs> they look like they're about to drop some bad Nordic uh, rock metal. That's right. Can we have them on the back screen as well? Uh, yes, we can. Hold on. I will do that for you. you. Um, we'll put them back up on the gaming pc screen gaming room tv screen there Look awesome good. thank so you, you very much up there they'll pop behind me mm -hmm. so i just want to say to me they look like bowling pins because <laughs> of the way they're all sorted out in this picture 
They are perfectly aligned. Now, the way they are for combat is the way you'll see them on the game map, which is not like too far ones. different. They tend to be clustered. And, and part of that is because of all the trees that are around you. It's not like there's a lot of extra open space to move around along these pathways. So it is your move. Okay, I have you all in the right place. And the very first one of everybody that's present in this encounter to react is our wizard. How unusual is that, huh? Yay. All right, so uh, what did you decide you wanted to do? Cast fireball. <laughs> Been waiting He's to like, use that. It's like, a, it's like his first encounter as a level five. And what does he do? He casts fireball. Mm -hmm. Of course. Such Isn't a D&D &D thing like to do. Is a level one spell, but no. never done it? Every oh. wizard in the world will go, I can't wait till I'm level five and I can cast fireball. Yay! Everyone. Congratulations, wizard. And, and, and Raven is no exception. He casts fireball. What's the uh, radius on it? Um, sorry, just so you know, on split camera, you're off to one side. Oh, yeah. We got oh, oh, oh. Cameras. You know what? I well, I can probably fix that like this. Yeah, that'll there do. That's better. Yeah, because it it should be centered when you're here, and then um, yep. a split camera should be okay. There you All go. Right. So, a uh, roaring blast Ooh. of fire detonates a spot you designate, dealing sixty six fire damage. It's a twenty foot burst, five hundred foot distance. Basic reflex save. So. Even on a success, they get they take half damage. Yes, I remember that. Still, just Which is adjusting awesome. my camera. Cook them elves. Okay, so they get a reflex save, but what was the total radius? So I um, know the 20, whole thing. Twenty foot burst. It's a twenty foot burst. So yeah. I'm going to put a circle on the thing that's a uh, twenty feet, and you tell me where you want it to be. Um, well, let's pull it back a little bit so I don't smoke um, Thaddeus. You know, put it right yeah. there like that. Yeah, as long as all of those uh, characters are are included. Just the zombies, not the peoples. The one, the one that is closest to Raven, ends up taking. Um, he rolled a five. Oh, that ain't good for him. Yeah, so he takes full damage. Okay. A couple of them rolled twenties and are out. Uh, this one, you said it had to make a 22, right? Which means that they've got a roll. They've all got a plus eight to their, their reflex save. So that means that they've got to make a uh, 14 to be safe. So the ones that made 14 were only three of them. The other four all take full damage. What you looking for? My dice. You need some dice? I need all the dice, yes. All the dice, all the time. That's all right. really weird. Glance. That's about in this bunch. Thanks. Or there's, or oh, there's that's okay. I'll use, I'll use this one. Thanks. There's going to be stuff in there for you to... Okay. Those are a lot of our miscellaneous dice that we're starting to uh, okay. gather. Thank you. Every year we gather lost dice from somewhere, I think. So this roll will apply to all of them then? This This attack roll? I guess so, if you want to do it that way, if that's easy. Well, it's just less math, right? Yep. Oh, it's not a very good roll. I think that I want to make that a six. It would it was... make sense it would attack because it's one fire burst 12, hitting that whole area. So one attack roll 14, would make sense. 14, 18, 19. 19 points of damage? Yep. All right. Okay, so you hit this first guy for 19 points of damage. Damn. Let me see. That gives him... Math is not my forte. I'll, we we're, we're, I'll we do the math for you. <laughs> no, you won't. Okay. <laughs> you ended up hitting most of the forefront ones. Uh, and so uh, you see that they're all badly burned by this. If they were um, not undead, it, it would probably even have gone worse for them. So I'm going to give the, the first front four. Oh, plus there's a plus one for my affinity, so that's 20 points yeah, of damage. Yeah, right. It is 20 points of damage. 
Sure, make me go back and rechange all these totals. That's a good opening volley. Mm-hmm. You did good. Yay. He's just been itching to get fireball. I know. And here's my spell token. <laughs> Plink. Eight. Okay, and the last one down at the bottom. <clears throat> did any of them critically succeed? I have a plus eight. You need a full 10-point swing from the 22, so they'd have to make a 12, and even the lowest of them rolled a 4, which makes the 12. No, they would have to be more than 12. More than more you got than one that got critted. Really? Yeah, the one closest wow. to you got critted. Nice. And he is dead. Oh, wow. Already? Kaboom. He's dead with a crit for sure. Plasma yeah. is very happy. <laughs> and for the um, remaining of my turn, I'm going to back up. Because <laughs> I'm a squishy, squishy. wizard. <laughs> squishy. Run and hide. Run and hide. Who wields a whole lot of damage and then runs. <laughs> yeah, that's what wizards do. So this is this is where I'm at right now. Okay, so you have moved yourself. <laughs> run away, run away, run away. Way away. I'll run way the hell away over here. Oh, oh. Well, I screwed up my mouth. That's what I'm I did right. after the mammoth because I know it was going down and I was like, mm, furthest mom. possibly away from the mouth. That's the end of Raven's turn. My mama didn't raise no fool. <laughs> One of she the damaged undead elven warriors. Uh, it becomes his turn next. A lot of them, of course, because of their levels, are ahead of you guys as far as reacting. They're oh, higher up on the in initiation. And uh, the first thing that he is going to do... These guys are not dumb. He's going to try and hit Raven with an arrow after Raven is the one that opened Salvo on him. The one that ran far away? Why is he hitting... Because these guys retain their intelligence more than the regular soldiering. And right, okay. And that's why he does it. And so he uh, pulls out, what does he pull out? He pulls out a longbow and he goes for a strike. And he's got plus 10 on his strike, buddy. My AC is 20. He rolls a seven and misses you. You're lucky. All right, so he's taken his shot at you uh he has got a couple of more actions that he can do oh what is this reactive strike oops you're i'm seeing your um undead warrior on the back there when i go to screen don't go to that screen please <laughs> sorry stop going to it that's good go to the map this is a challenge oops. that i've got with my setting up the cameras right now that it's showing my screen when i don't want it to but i have no choice I didn't, I just peeked. I didn't look. <laughs> sure. Mm -hmm. Well, we know that, you know, they die on, uh, that one died under 40. So. Yeah. Some, um, some of them might be beefier. Fair enough. And the one's a bad shot. So this one then steps right up to Thaddeus as his second action. Uh, which is one step forward for him. There's one dead one laying beside him. He steps right up to Thaddeus and he tries to take a big bite. Sorry, this which is his second attack? Which is the dead one? There's. We should put them sideways. So. Oh, I, I took him out already. Oh. Okay. He's the one just, that's. Just, just throw it on its side. Little there skull there. Yeah, lay, lay him prone, and we'll know. It's very I, I like, it's I like satisfying. To see, I like to see them knocked down. Yes, exactly. Satisfying. So it's 10 plus what's his strike what's your uh, do the words AC? nimble dodge mean anything to you <laughs> so that's oh, right so nice. Thaddeus uses his nimble dodge and dodges out of the way of the first elven warrior next one up Da -dum, is a oh is the where is he here he got damaged badly, too. He's in the back. This one looks like uh, he's in a little bit different outfit than the others. He's got more uh, hunting gear on than he does armor on. He also pulls out a bow, aims it at Raven. 
Man. Which one is that? <laughs> that is. I upset these dudes. Mm -hmm, yes. Where's my? Do we have a pointer somewhere? A couple of pointers. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. That more. There we go. That is this guy. Okay. The tall one. All right. Or is it just me, or is he taller than the rest? Well, the person in front of him is stooping. Oh, okay. Yeah. And there's one guy over here. It's the same height. He does not have. Well, as he holds it up, he realizes it's not a long bow. It looks like it's more of a short bow. He also takes aim at Raven, who is obviously the most dangerous of the group, clearly, from their point of view. So well, from there to here. Yep. Okay. My mistake. I should have hid behind Ten. you guys. <laughs> I shouldn't have run off to the side. <laughs> That's yeah. true. Altruistic Raven isn't doing well. Altruistic. What's your AC? The things you suffer. Nine. Uh, you're uh, 20. Um, Second Sorry, 20. shot yeah. hits. First shot is a 20 and misses. Oh, shit. Second shot hits you of the two. Um, and uh, is 1d6 plus 3 piercing. Oh, that could be worse. That's not bad at all, I think. You got lots of, and it's a one. God damn it. Four points Four. damage is all you take. Wow. That's the end of uh, his turn. Actually, he's got some movement. So he is going to. Move back. And out over to there. Next one is Percy. It's going to be Percy, one of the uh, elves. Then it's going to be Josephine, Thaddeus, and Lavinia. Well, there's somebody right in front of me, so I'm going to yes. pull out. Uh... You need to take a point forward to step up to him, I think. Uh, You'll take have to take a step to get to them if you're going to do okay. melee. Because, yeah, he's if he's here, I just step to here, right? Yes, okay. correct. And then I do a twin takedown on him with the... Uh, the tomahawk and the um, Bowie knife. Okay. Roll the hit. I have a question about something. Um, in my bonus feats, it says canny acumen reflex, but it doesn't give numbers as to how that increases my reflex. Yeah. I've got the same one too. Yeah. I think doesn't canny acumen give you, um, no, sorry, I'm, I'm mistaken. I'm, never mind. Because I, I wonder, you know, if, if somebody does attack me or with a, a reflex save, does that increase my reflex save? You're already there. You'll notice that if you look on the left-hand side, it says that your fortitude, mm -hmm. your reflex, and your will oh, are already oh, there at it is. expert okay. levels. Reflex is at plus 13. <laughs> Good God. Yes. So because they are at expert levels as opposed to lower levels, the reason they are is because of your canny, canny acumen. I have that as well. Yeah, most of you have got like, you know, really high uh, saves for those things. Uh, both, Appropriate for your both character. Both were 21. Both hit. Okay, and uh, uh, what was the damage again? It's a D8 plus D6, I think, right? Yes. Yep. No, not a D6, D4. Oh, okay. D8 and a D4. D8, D4. Okay. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I can look at your weapons easy enough, just like mm, anybody you're here. You're probably right. The Bowie knife? Bowie knife and tomahawk. It's 1D6, but now instead of one, it's plus two piercing. So you'll always get two points for sure extra on it. Nice. So, and then you've got your D4. So D6, D4 total. Oh, D64. Okay, I got to roll again because I did a D8. No, that's okay. You know what? I will... I'll just go with that. We're going to let it be a D8 for your tomahawk. Okay, because that was uh, six points of damage. Okay. And Plus uh, two is eight points of damage. Nice. Is eight points of damage. As you use it, your second attack is your swing. She drops to the ground dead and you kill the elven warrior. Which one? This one that's right in, right in front of me. 
She pew, pew. is dead ski. Dead. She only had eight points of life left. Oh, okay. Um, uh, <clears throat> in that case, I throw my tomahawk at this guy. Which guy? The the one directly behind the one I just killed. Okay. So. It's just amazing how you guys pass through that flame and don't get burnt. And... Not flame. Two zero, baby. <laughs> 20. Nice! Natural 20. 20. <laughs> Natural 20. Okay, that's to hit, right? That's to you hit. hit him, that's a crit. Yep. So roll for damage. And uh, If you're throwing the tomahawk, it's going to be a d6 for sure. d6 and d4, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, no, his tomahawk is lodged in the other one. No, I, no. it's oh, not lodged. Yet. Not yet. I went whack, whack. I'm right, holding no, no, the boat. You, you right? said throwing the tomahawk. I assumed you had already thrown it. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I was fast forwarded in my brain. No, no, I was using. I'm the, the one that tosses. So, uh, four points on the dice plus two. Yep. Or, yeah. So, uh, six points of damage times two. Times two. Twelve. And that tomahawk hits this one right in the forehead, and he drops to the ground dead. Oh, I cannot bizarre. believe how fast you guys wow. are going. We're just we're. Slicing and dice Done. all kinds of you, mushy wizard boy. Thank you so much for your help on that. Yeah, I'm even drawing their fire for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, yes, fire at me. Yes, I'm running away. Look <laughs> <laughs> at the avatar. Misdirection. Misdirection. Yeah. Who is this guy? The more I misdemeanor I get. Misdemeanor. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. <laughs> hmm. That's not the him. humor is waning. We've, we've been missing. <laughs> is it waning? <laughs> yes. It it's certainly not waxing. Uh -huh. No. I believe it is waning. Yeah. Yes. Waxing is pretty funny on its Okay. Own. Wax um, on, wax off. That's the end of your on, turn, on, is it, Percy? Off. Yep. End of Percy's oh, turn. Uh, I have I have one I have one more turn so I can do movement. Um in that case, I am gonna Is that a tree? Um, yes. It's a big burn tree, remember? They're all burned. Okay. Everything I, is a burn tree. Can I duck behind the tree? All right. You can try and take some cover behind the tree. 10, 15, 20, cover behind the tree. All right. That's all you have is 20. So yeah. I will move you over there. Doobie doobie doo. Because these guys have got bows and arrows, and I, I want to just, you know, attack, duck, and cover. <laughs> all right. It now becomes one that was hidden behind the three that uh dropped one who did not take any damage from the fire spell looks like she's a female she looks a little bit different than the others she looks like she's dressed like a shaman uh oh, oh. <laughs> did she not take damage or she took a little damage she took uh she took no oh she takes half damage doesn't half she? damage yeah on a okay i gotta i gotta <laughs> update I update that then for the ones that were still in it i there. didn't give the half damage out <laughs> Uh, and it was a total yeah. of 20 points of damage, so she took 10. Oh, my God, you're so cute. Correct. How did you get she so really cute? She really is lovely. We need Lily Cam. Don't. We don't have a spare cam right now. Eventually, I'll get us a nice little handheld cam that we could use. That would be fun. All right, he only took 10, so he should actually be corrected to... Uh... Can you get that? Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Rerun right now. All right. Uh, so this shaman-looking elf. So as it tangles you, it's only a success, which means that you take a minus 10-foot circumstance penalty to your speed for one round. Okay. So you're just slowed to 15. Considering you're trying you're to lucky. Stand I can there. live there. I can live with that. <laughs> and it becomes Josephine Smith's turn. Okay. I'm going to. Uh, Lavinia or Thaddeus, you're next. Then Lavinia. Yep. Talk this little girly yep. under the bushes here. Okay. And then ready myself because. I'm like that was my first concern. I'm get now, the girl out of the way. I should clarify something. Every square except the ones that you're standing on, that's the green squares. Mm -hmm. Uh not the big round circle of green squares, but the uh the one from the web that was just cast, they are all still sticky with webbing, which makes them difficult terrain. Make cool. sense? Um, 
Um, I think. That so, just if you try and walk through them, to mm-hmm. do a sharpshooter shot at this guy right here with Mabel. Well, yes. You know, a clear shot at these guys. <clears throat> yeah. Well, you got a clear shot at that one too. Clear shot. Well, yeah. But like you know, like, like let's take one with Mabel and then two with the pew pew. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. So. With Mabel. Dang it, this was a D4 cup. We gotta hide that one. <laughs> this is the one you're shooting at? Yeah, that's the one I'm shooting at. Okay, that's the one you're shooting. Yeah, and I roll a 17. She rolls so a mighty 17. I certainly hit him. You and that's it. a 10 plus 4. Is it Mabel? Yes. Yes. <coughs> Some mighty damage. We will see. It, it's going to be at least like two points of damage. <laughs> I did roll snake eyes not too long ago. You're just trying to jinx yourself. Or under. A yourself. 9 and a 2. So 11 with Mabel. 11 points of damage? 11 points of damage to this guy right here. Got it. Okay, got it. And then I pull my pew pews. Okay. The left rolls a two. Two, miss. I know. <laughs> Thing left. I'm not really great. Now, with this is your third, so there's a minus 10 on this penalty on this one. My right rolls a nine. Won't, won't be enough. Won't for sure. Bump. All right. Okay. So, neither one of those work. That's right. Do I have a sound pad here that we've got? Uh, let me see. Wow, wow, wow. That's from Roseanne. Okay. <laughs> Then it becomes, after Josephine, it is Thaddeus' turn, then Lavinia's. All right, I'm, from my first turn, I'm going to cut the uh, webbing around my... That is okay, so one action, you've cut yourself free. With my rapier. Sure. All right. Um, <clears throat> then I'm going to use my uh, the daggers that I got in the dowry. Okay. Uh, aiming at that guy. Okay. Actually, no, I'm aiming at this person who... who Okay. Shot at me. It's closer. All right. Yeah. Think, is that is this the druid girl? Yes, it is. Okay. okay. Yeah. Get that druid. Girl. She's a magic user. Magic mm-hmm. user. Yes. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Hopefully, she's squishy too. One would hope. Well, druids are tougher than wizards. It's a possibility that she's squishy. Druids are very dear to me. In my uh, next life, I'm coming back. 18. 18. Misses. Okay. And your next one? You know what? Interestingly enough, she's got a higher armor class than all of the other her other fellows. Hmm. Mm. I don't know why, but well, I do know why. I mean it's of it's magically you know enhanced. <laughs> it's magically enhanced. Probably using bark. For my third turn, I'm going to use battle assessment. Okay. And what are you battle assessing? Battle assessing the elves and their strategies and how they move. Okay. Anything that'll give give us an advantage. Uh, as you assess them, you notice that, uh, they've actually got, uh, a very badly stitched emblem, each one of them on their uniforms. And it appears to be an image of a burned tree. And they've all got the same image stitched on their things. As a matter of fact, one of the ones laying on the ground has what looks like a tattered banner sticking out of, uh, one pocket that's shredded, but it looks like it's the same image on a piece of silk. It's a black and white image. So it is a black tree that clearly looks burned, no leaves on it, on a white background. Is that the same emblem that we found on the scroll? No, it is not. Okay. It is not. Mm-hmm. Uh, other stuff that you notice assessing them 
is that clearly the commander, the two, uh, the two most senior of them, they all seem to have different roles. Two of the ones that you took out pretty easily were the warriors in the front that had the heavier armor. This one is clearly some kind of magic user. This one is clearly some kind of commander. Uh, this one is some type of ranger. And, uh, or no, this one is the ranger. And this one you don't know anything about. Okay. And that is your battle assessment. So Thank you. are they all undead? They're all undead. Okay. And they're all elven. Different level of undead than we've been used to. That Smart concludes undead. my turn. All right, that concludes Thaddeus' turn. Becomes Lavinia's turn. I'm starting by casting shield because it's probably a useful thing okay. if there's arrows coming my way. And All right, so, Lavinia casts her shield so that she is now extra shielded and armor class is 20. So that's a good place to start. Can I still do a heal or like I, I don't know how that Shield takes fits. one action. Okay. So that means you have two actions left. Okay. You can do a two-action heal, but it is a single target heal. It's not an AoE. AoE, you need your throw full three actions to do. You Notice how Glenn had to use all three of his. Anytime you do any type of area of effect spell, it's almost always going to be three actions to do an AoE. That's what area effect means. Okay, I am casting my single heal on the druid. The druid. Oh, yes, of course you would be. Of course you would be. So you're casting a single heal 2d8 roll to hit. Has to be a willing thing unless you hit it. I believe. Let me look at your heal and see what it says about that in detail. Yeah, I mean, I just hit them. They don't have to. No, actually, you don't have to roll to hit, dear. Sorry about that. It is a... Defense is a basic fortitude save. They have to see if they can withstand the positive energy of your spell. So let's find out whether she can withstand it. And she does not withstand it with a puny little three. You hit her, 2d8. Okay, right, so knock it out. Three. Again, three. And six, so nine. Nine points of damage. She looks like she's in very rough shape. That took your, a lot out dice. of her. Those are fun. She does not look like she's doing well at all. It uh Good. that's the end of your turn, and it becomes <coughs> Hey. Move forward encounter. Move forward encounter. There we go. Ugh. That's better. And it becomes that uh, white ghosty one that's got the shroud on and the bow. <clears throat> they all look white ghosty. Yeah, I know. I was thinking how. <laughs> He's whiter than the rest of them. That's you see him? That one? That guy. Okay. That the whitest white. of the whitest. <clears throat> He's really white. Also, we all look super white. I'm saying. In comparison to these gray ghouls mm -hmm. he turns That's profile. and he walks forward to uh, i'll move oh, oh oh sorry about that Oop. Oop. lost the screen for a sec he turns and oh how come it's not responding now come on Okay. Uh, I can minimize it this way. He goes one, he goes five, ten, and then there's webbing between him and Lavinia. Mm -hmm. He leaps across that webbing Ooh, wow. with ability that he has and lands next to Lavinia and grabs her to bite her. Bite. Bite. Does my shield impact? It'll give all? you more armor class. She just put on her shield before. Yeah, she oh. did. So Lavinia's armor class, he has got an additional strike. Her armor class is 20, like we said. 
but uh, the power of his bite. I got to see what hit, what the strike for bite has for additional. Uh, where is it? Mealy claw, jaws, is an eleven. It's a twenty-one because he rolled a ten. <gasps> Dang. He bites you for one d ten plus three piercing. Am I able to respond back or do I have to wait? With what? Do you have a reaction? Well, I'm just wondering if my sickle is... Unbelievable. He bites you for a fucking one. (laughs) (laughs) My monsters are so impotent today. Impotent monsters. Now, that means it's actually a total of jaws is plus three, so it's four points of damage that you take. Okay. Dang. However, you have to roll a fortitude save. It could have been way worse. the poison has got turned into a zombie. <clears throat> so I'm doing the d20 for the fortitude? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and then you've fort- got your fortitude that you could add whatever the bonus is to it. Yeah. So 4 plus 10, so 14. 14 is not enough. <gasps> oh, no. Because it's a 15 DC. So that means so you start to feel something strange and sickening course through your veins from the bite on your neck, and you are sickened level one plus slowed level one. And what does that mean? That means that, means that, that you feel sick and you're zombie. moving slow. <laughs> yep. You take a uh, penalty on attacks and, and saves. And you lose one action as slowed. Okay. Instead of three actions, you now have two. Okay. And we need Thaddeus to work on this anti-venom really freaking fast. You know what? My hit points, I brought them down and they just jumped back up again on the screen. Oh, interesting. <clears throat> yeah. Did you do the it right It says, says, okay, you should... Well, I brought take him, him back down, down to 49. I didn't. Back down to 49, right? Oh, you know what? You might have some temp hit points from your from your ability. You have a feat. Oh, yeah. What's the name of your feat? It's death's, death something, right? Yeah. What's it called? It's some kind of feat that you have. I'm going to say that uh, you don't take any damage from that, but you're still sickened. Okay. Because I can't find the, the thing right now, but you do have that that one special ability that gives you temporary hit points. Yeah. And we're going to say they got used up. That is the end of his turn. So uh, just a question before you go any further. Shield block? Well, I've already got my shield oh, and all that okay. stuff up, but... Um, that would be considered a condition, right? So so both if, those conditions are now on your character because so I dragged and dropped them to your character. If I can just finish what I was going to ask. Um, one of the feats that once I've got it finished being set up, it's about healing conditions. So Yes, I'll but it's able, not set up right now. I'm it's not on your character, what, is it? Once it is, will I be able to use that? We'll see once it's there. I'll look at it then. Right now, under your conditions, and you've got an effects tab. Um, This is something you can show on the, uh, if you want to show on the adventure screen. Uh, I'll show you real quick. Okay. So here are all the Lavinia's things, right? She's got her actions. She's got her inventory. She's got her spell casting. Right after feats, there's effects right here. And this is where I've dragged and dropped the two conditions that she's got. The second one and the slowed one. You'll notice that also when I've got Lavinia's token targeted, it actually shows those two conditions up here in the corner like this. Did that show up? It did. Yep. Okay. That's all I wanted to show you. Okay. You. Uh, we can go off adventure screen again, and it now becomes the next warrior's turn. And the next warrior is that one that has been standing off to the side. He hasn't even done anything yet. He pulls out a great big black bow. 
Oh no, a black bow. Aims it at Raven. Uh oh. Because he still considers the magic user the most dangerous. It's kill the magic users, kill the healers. And he rolls to hit. And he rolls a 16. He hits with his bonus. Darn. Has this one? 1d8 one plus 3 slashing. Yeah. So he rolls. A three plus three, six points of damage. Okay. Lucky it wasn't a critical. Decides to take aim with his second shot, same bow. And he rolls a 10 with his bonus, which is 11. He only gets, no, he only gets a seven. So he rolls 17 and that misses. That does miss. I'm okay. a 20 armor class with All my right. mage armor. Just yes. dodge. <laughs> the last thing that happens is is that so uh, took a shot. All of you start to hear these strange dark whispers as he is mumbling under his breath. Uh oh. As he does it, you you see that as a reaction, the other undead elves that are with him join him as a reaction and they begin to mumble with him to magnify whatever he is saying. And uh Oh These God. dark thoughts and vile cravings start to crawl through your minds. That's especially bad for me. Well, I don't like Roll dark a thoughts will and save. vile cravings. Not at all. You go ahead. So that's a d20 for a will save. Remember, you've got your will bonus on your uh, on your character sheet. Nine. It's a 20. Nine. Nine. It's a 20. 20 is your will save? Okay. 20. 20 is yours. 21. 21 for 28. And 28. Okay. 14 altogether. 14. So the only person it seems to affect in the group is Josephine. <laughs> and uh, she's able to shake it off. It doesn't seem to have any physical effects on her. But something's not right. She just doesn't know what it is. She feels just slightly strange, but other than that, it doesn't seem to affect her. Hmm. It's ominous. It is ominous. I don't like feeling this way. Okay, ominous. that <laughs> is... <laughs> <laughs> and it becomes Raven's turn. Let's not go down that one. I know. <laughs> he did it. Well, he yeah, right, did it. right. I have another third level spell so i will cast fireball again you will cast fireball oh my god we had so much fun the last time yes it's like a little barbecue out in elf land <laughs> if my elves were smarter they would have jumped into the middle of all of you so you That's couldn't so do that great. anymore they would have right. they would have moved around so i got a 20 foot burst <laughs> all right let so me I, get the I let me get your 20 foot burst out two of them yeah, so you probably can only two. do two. So oh, hold one. on, I got the, the wrong. Here. I got the wrong thing. I got to delete that one and give you a circle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a twenty foot burst. It's there is a twenty you foot burst. Get the druid in there. Oh yeah, I think I can oh, get all three right. of those guys. Yeah, you do get all three right there. Okay. Okay. Oh. It's a reflex yeah. save for them, isn't it? It's yeah. a basic reflex save. Basic reflex for the first one. And he rolls a sixteen. He beats his reflex save. Half damage. Second one, 11. Uh, I got to find out what his reflex, what the reflexes are on this druid. Oh, I got to go this way. What's your reflex? Flex, flex. My DC is 21. Plus seven. She doesn't make it. Yes. Oh, what a shame. 13. All Get her out of there. <laughs> Was that the druid that didn't make it? She didn't make it. Ranger. She didn't make well, we it. don't know that she's dead yet. But no, she didn't. probably. Oh, she but the other two the make save. the reflex save. Uh -huh. He does not. So, as the fire it. hits there, I mean, go ahead and roll all of your. Well, your dice move your mice, but, and oh, it's going to be half okay, damage to the ones that made 12, there. Twelve. Yes. Yep. Fourteen, nineteen, twenty-one damage plus one. You see is her 22. get burned to a crisp, and okay. she dies. And the other take uh, the other ones take ten damage each that's right i love that spell 
That's Way a great Way to go, Squishy. Super good. <laughs> oh, they're mm-hmm. filling me with Super arrows. Squishy. Super you have active. taken squishy. almost no damage. Well, I have. I'm down to 34. And he's slow. Oh, my God. Yeah. You know what? The Elven Ranger has moved away. It's more damage that he can t- take, and he dies. This one down here. Uh, so who who gets? Everyone's dead. They're that all one there. dead. No, no, one left. No, there's still so, oh, the one. Yep. S- that one's dead. That one's dead. Straight in your face. This one's dead. Yeah, I think. There are two left alive. They Wait, are which, the which leader of one's the dead. group. That one's alive. That one's alive. This one is alive. The leader <clears throat> of the group, and the one that is just taking a bite out of Lavinia yeah. is alive as well. And it be, is the end of Raven's turn. Well, I still get one action. But... All right. It only takes you two actions to cast Fireball. Yeah, it's two actions. So there's me told about the AoEs, duh. <laughs> okay. Well, it depends on the spell. But um, I think I'll just move to hide behind everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are so, slowed, right? No, I, I'm not wet. That's me that's slowed. Oh, it's you that's slowed. I'll hide behind Josephine. Because she's a, just no, a he short, is slow. He he's slow. Well, yeah, that's so you only can move fifteen feet, 15 three feet. squares. Okay. Yeah, sorry to. That's okay. So are you that's moving the three you... squares? Uh, sure, why not? All right, that'll get you just Tremendous. barely behind the little girl. I think more or less. Well, mm. won't it? So you're, not quite. You're no. hiding behind oh, the pixie. Oh, oh, you're here. Isn't that nice? No, I'm, like, oh, I'm standing over top of the pixie. using the pixie as a shield. <laughs> okay, <laughs> why don't you tend to the pixie, buddy? Yeah, I'll, I'll tend to the pixie. That's what I'm doing. The three elves that were actually up next are all dead. It becomes Percy's turn, then Josephine. Okay, well, there's one guy right next to me, and I'm going to chop chop at him. Yay! That makes sense. Chop them dead elf. Twenty-seven hits. This one and twenty-two on the second one. And you said it was D6, D4. So, yep. Yeah. And then you get a bonus of plus two right. for each of the uh, weapons. Four, five, six on the first one. And. You should roll those on your uh, little mat there, <clears throat> Rob, because you're out of camera, you're out of mic. So 18 damage total. 18 damage. Is exactly how much life he had left. You kill him. <gasps> yes. He's dead ski. And I'm gonna put a black bow and fire an arrow at that last mofa. Yeah. Oh, uh, where do you want me to roll? Here. Yeah, because okay. then you're in screen. See. Okay. Cool. Mm, nine plus uh, plus eleven minus ten. I think I don't. Know Not enough to, to hit him. him. Not yeah. enough to hit him. Okay, and that was. Uh, that was twin one, takedown two. and two. You have one yeah, action. One left. action left. So, um, and I'm in the webbing area, so can't really move much. Uh, I'm going to go over towards the fairy girl too. So uh, I'm reduced to ten. Right? Where's the fairy girl here? Well, you are actually, you were not stuck in the webbing, so you have a full 25 that you can walk as long as you don't walk through the webbing. Two, uh, I'm gonna That's go, 10. Yeah, so it's one, two, three. 15, then. Four, and an extra fairy girl. Okay. But she's the one laying down right there. Like, she's literally laying down well, right there. Well, I thought there. that's her marker there. The marker's here. Well, somebody put the marker where she wasn't. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, she moved. The fairy girl moved, and the marker didn't. Because I'm, with it. I'm gonna attend to her with my. The fairy my, girl has um, not moved. My natural medicine. I, I rolled her under a bush. Yep. On my next turn. Yeah, so. Okay, you're gonna attend to her with natural medicine on the next turn. Josephine, your turn. Then Thaddeus. Then Lavinia. Because we're hopefully gonna bring down this mofo. Uh, like, is there really anything left to do? Oh, right. Take uh, down the one guy. I still. I'm not going to shoot Thaddeus in the head if I chick, chick, boom. Oh, so, um, From my point of view, you have just enough line of sight as long as you don't roll a one on your attack. I will not roll a one. I oh, never roll one. Don't ones. jinx yourself. Mind Thanks. right, Miss Smith. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> 
that will impede your your aim. Remember, roll up, bring your tray over and roll in center. That's good. Thanks. Welcome, my nose. It's bugging me. I rolled a twenty. What a I twenty? A twenty. You can verify. Crit. That, right? Crit. That's definitely a twenty. That's that gonna be. That's what one. gonna be a one d ten plus a one d four, and it's double damage. Uh, Do this mofo. D10, D4. Uh, that's a 9 and a 3 is 12 times 2 is 24. 24 points of damage. Let's see what he's got left. He is badly hurt as the powerful blast from your rifle tears into his chest. You can see this huge smoking hole there. Hmm. And uh, he staggers back, uh, pushed back uh, five feet by it. You can move him five feet backwards that he's pushed back, please. Oh, but he is still standing. He's tough, that guy. Ooh, he is tough. I'm still standing. Yeah, and you have yeah, another, yeah. you have more I know, turns. I know. So my second turn, I'm just going to. Reload. Okay. Third turn, third turn. I know I take a minus 10, but I'm going to try. You only take a minus minus five because it's only your second attack. Oh. Not your second action. Or strike in this case, as they call it. Oops. (laughs) What? Is that a one? Mm. She never rolls a one. I never roll. He's never Except gonna roll in. Think yeah. yourself. So it was uh it was your peacemaker that you're shooting. No, it was Mabel. It was Mabel that you were shooting. Mabel, right? yes. Mm-hmm. Poor Thaddeus. You're gonna oh. take a shot. No, it's me. So that's a D10. But the D4 will not happen because the fire would not affect another person from Terra. And Thaddeus takes three points of damage as this big ass <laughs> blast whips by and nicks him and grazes him. Do you him. mind? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so 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 sorry. I'm so sorry. This oh, dear. most okay. terrible thing to injure one of your crew. So that is the end of Josephine. I never roll the one's turn, and it becomes <laughs> Thaddeus's turn. <laughs> Um, you should shoot uh, Josephine. <laughs> <laughs> I will deal with Josephine later on. Uh, at the moment, my my focus is on this guy. I am going to use my my good old stilettos. All right, your good old stilettos. You going to throw one? Yes, please. <clears throat> Seventeen hits with your is that with your bonus or not? That's with the bonus. Misses. Erg. He's got higher armor class than seventeen. He's a leader, obviously. He would. Yeah. Do I try again? I'm gonna try again. That was only one of your two stilettos, wasn't that it? That is correct. Try for the second stiletto. Same hand. No bo- No penalty on the second one. That would be twenty-eight. That hits. Uh, and the damage is 1d6 and a d plus 1d4 bleed. No, that's uh, the pearl hill. Oh, you're using the other ones with fire? The stilettos. 1d6 with 1d4 yeah. fire. fire. And because of the level you've gone up, I think you do an extra point in damage. I'm going to look real quick for your uh, bonus damage that you do. Let's have a look and see what it says. Annoying. Bonus damage on a stiletto now. Oh, because we did a manually, probably isn't showing. I'm going to say it's a plus one, though. So okay. five and four. Uh, yep. Plus and one. one. Ten. Ten, Ten points of damage. As that stiletto of yours sinks into his chest, right square where his heart is, he crumples to the ground dead. Yay! Woo! All down. You see this black, swirling, almost spirit light thing come up, rising out of his body. It flies through the air. 
right into Josephine's face, enters her body, and her eyes turn black. Oh, crap. I was like, where's my jar for wisps? <laughs> yeah, you haven't found one yet. I know. And as that happens, her eyes turn black, and... And that was with my left arm. Ta-da. She turns around and targets Raven. What? You're number one. You got targeted because I rolled a one. And uh, she immediately reloads Mabel, points it straight at Maven, at, at Raven, and uh, uh, takes a shot at him. That's not very nice. Now, technically, I only I did, did two of my three turns. I could, I could run and tackle her. <laughs> well, uh, I would say that you have enough reaction time if you want to try, but you got to go through the web. Oh darn! Yeah, yeah, I can't really go. Well, I'm sort of on the edge you have to there. roll. You'll have to roll reflex to see if you can get through the web to get to her. Probably not enough. Five plus 13 is enough. Oh, five plus 13 is enough to get through the web. Now you have to roll, you know, you have to roll uh, an athletics to see if you can uh, grapple her and uh, take her down. Please tackle me. It's not really grappling. It's just running at full speed. Um, Okay. You're going to try and knock her prone? Yeah. Just tackle her. Just yeah. Yeah. To grapple her, or grab onto her, or do anything, affect her in any physical way, you've got to beat her save, uh, what she's just rolled. Okay. Athletics. What did I roll? I'm not telling you yet. Oh. I'll tell you after this, though. Can I do I acrobatics I instead I of athletics? No, nope, it's a secret one. Because well, you're, you're not in control, control of yourself. Yeah. Can I do acrobatics instead of athletics? No, because it's not. It's This is a strength-based okay. thing. You okay. versus her strength. And it's not even necessarily her normal strength. Oh, yeah. It is her I, possessed strength. Okay. And Understood. not only that, I, I added three to my strength earlier today. Doesn't matter. It's your possessed strength, okay. which is going to be greater than your regular strength every time. Okay. Okay. Nope. What was it? It's a one. A one. She rolled a two. <laughs> oh, Ow. I got, a, Ow. I got a plus six. For oh. She reacts to Damn. you with an unarmed strike. strike. No, oh. he's, he's done with that. Because oh, yes. his bonus is not greater than her bonus. Right. Yeah. So base roll, if it's lower than hers, mm-hmm. or even yeah. equal to hers, he would have lost out, right? Yeah. Okay. She elbows him right in the face and does four points of damage with her elbow Correct. to fend him off as she sees him coming. She finishes her shot against Raven. She rolls a 12 plus whatever her bonus is, which is 10, which is 22. She hits Raven, Bummer. and the damage that she does to him is a D10. Why am plus, I why am I shooting that at my own crew? Because you're you are possessed. You remember that dark whisper? Remember. That dark whisper. Gotcha. She hits Raven for two points of damage. Yay. God, that's plus two. That. That's it's that. two plus two actually. It's, it's four, points, so four points, of points of damage. That's nothing. It's like you guys are getting little scratches and stuffy. Could have gotten hurt worse falling down a hill. I'm You're still, still at, lucky. Like, I'm still oh, at my still full early. HP. I like, cannot still... believe. Is it my turn? That you guys got off. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think. I, yes, it is your turn. Oh, okay, we're, we're doing a badass heal. Thank you very much. Oh, nice. And I don't know how this is going to impact you. I hope it not, does. But I don't know any better thing to do. Okay. Is to do a circular heal. Well, we're that, all in the right place. Yeah, circular heal that emanates and heighten it to oh, what. Is this a plus 30 heal? Like a 30 foot from you? Yeah. All right, so we're going to just drag a 30 foot circle. Boom, there we go. That's going to hit everybody in that circle. Yeah. yeah. So roll your 2d8s. Roll in front of your. Yeah, bring your bring your. 
Yeah, I'm working on it. I just have You're, to get a dice tray. Uh, dice tray in, in the center. Aye. But you just just put it on your keypad. It's just fine. put it on your it's keypad. Not hurt. That's what we all do. And here's my eight. You can use it. So three and four, so seven. Seven points of damage. I mean, seven points, points of healing. Heal. Yeah. Everybody's able to give themselves seven points of healing, except for Josephine, who takes seven points of damage. Oh, dang it. So <laughs> you can just take it off of your, your yeah. health. All right. I'm sorry. Okay, that becomes the end of Lavinia's turn. And it is but now that, Raven's that turn. That tells me something, though. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. Wait, what whatever was happened? Wasn't did she heal herself? Isn't she bitten? She healed herself, and uh, it does not affect the conditions that she has. Just her health points. But my health health points went back up to. Yeah, you're good. Um, Okie dokie. So I'm sorry. Not your fault. Well, I'm reluctant to beat up Josephine, even if she is possessed. So, and she's right beside me, right? Do no, it. She's not. I'm going to move um, five feet towards her, and I'm going to attempt to grapple. Oops, that's the wrong thing. Let me get rid of that. Sorry. That's the wrong thing. You're going to attempt to step and attempt to grapple. Athletics check. Okay. And we've been way past an hour at this point, by the way. Oh, thank oh, you. I forgot okay. timers tonight. Okay, we're going to do, we're going to go to a break after we resolve this little thing that's going on with Josephine's character. Okay, go ahead for it. I rolled um, an eighteen. And what is your? Well, you know what? What's no, sorry, point? that's not right. I rolled a uh, seventeen. That's Let's including see. my. If no, she's able to withstand your grapple. 14, she withstands your grapple, no problem. Okay. You don't get hurt, though, luckily, by her response to your grapple. But I can still take a five step back, right? Sure. And you can take step, five steps back. Well, I'm not, in, well, yeah. Otherwise, like a five foot thing, five if foot, you want. Because otherwise, I get an attack of opportunity. Okay. And we're going to hold right there. Uh, we're coming back in uh, 10 minutes. So if you want to pass me the controls if everybody wants to just hang tough take a break we're going to be back in 10 minutes and we will see you all then <laughs>